Once again, Vortex, we are lost in the projects. And we can't go yet because that's the green arrow. Calm down. <sighs> Waiting for the light is just so traumatic. Like, don't you feel traumatized right now, Vortex? Look, look at that. Did you feel mocked? Is that what it was? Did you feel mocked? Yeah, so. This is not a very good part of Nashville over here. It's okay. They're trying to like renovate it. Can't you see? Can't you see all that? progress, right? Yeah, that's what progress looks like. That's, that's that. Ooh, Wedgwood! Okay, um, let's turn left. Can you move over here? Okay, let's do this. Turn left here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <sighs> this is so awkward. Now I'm that person. It looks like such a typical woman that can't make a decision because I'm like literally stuck here diagonally. <laughs> it's funny though. It is funny, but let's see, we got the green arrow and we're going all right. So we were lost in the projects for very long. That was only five minutes. But. I just thought I'd show y'all what my life is like without a GPS system, okay? Most people don't know because they're so used to technology. And it's not just about like technology doing everything for you or whatever. I think it's more about like the bigger picture lifestyle that I support of just sort of like not having to be like regimented and I know that it seems like it would make more sense. You see, that's my arrow. See that? Isn't that beautiful? We turn it off after we've completed the task. I don't know why people leave their turn signal on after they've completed the task. Oh. Yeah, so we just left Bobby's Idle Hour, which is a mic at yet another shitty dive bar that I don't frequent because, um, you know, I don't drink. Um, but if I did drink, I wouldn't really do it at a bar. I would probably do it at my house where I wouldn't make a bunch of mistakes. But speaking of mistake, so when I was up there tonight, I felt like it wasn't going well, right? Like they were. It's like they're either on board with what you're saying or they're not. But luckily for me, I have a lot of stuff that I talk about that's, you know, different. So guaranteed they'll, they'll probably be on board with something. So that's why people say I've never seen you bomb. That, that's why they say that because I usually have something that people can relate to or enjoy. So, like I totally killed at the at the very end. So, I just don't know how to get up there and be good like immediately, you know. I'm just so awkward and like I just talk about myself being awkward and I oh, I fucking hate that shit like I'm cringing just thinking about it I'm cringing like reflecting on my performance I'm gonna have to watch it and it probably won't be anywhere near as bad as I think it'll be because you know being up there and experiencing it is a completely different thing than watching it and being like oh it wasn't as bad as I thought it was but like people that don't have self-awareness, 
I think that's why they're disgusted with themselves. <laughs> so it, it's the exact opposite experience that we have. You know, it typically is. A look over there, glorious strip mall, y'all. This is America, y'all. This is what they want to save. <laughs> okay? That's what they want to save. And look at that. The, the Hollywood 27 movie theater that gets shot up every few months. <laughs> That's not true. I, just know, I know some shootings have happened there. So I'm going to exaggerate just like everybody on the media and say it happens all the time. Right? Right? Why not? Why not do that? I thought that there was something in the road because there usually is something in the road so I wanted to dodge it <laughs> do you think that's why they named the car Dodge were they like anticipating that car running into a lot of things on the roads maybe they were anticipating the government to not do their job right right I feel like I just robbed Dane Cook a little bit Dane Cook did a joke about, uh, getting hit by a Dodge or something. I don't remember what the joke was exactly, but it was, it was pretty clever. He's very commanding, like, it's funny to me, like, something I've noticed is, like, how many people, like, brag on comedians. Like, there are plenty of people out there that I don't find funny or I don't really think their comedy is that great. But, like, I know that it's effective for some people, you know? And comedy is such a broad art form, like, you can do whatever the hell you want. So, like, it's not really fair for me to, like, critique it the way that I do. I mean, you know I'm still going to do that because like, we critique every motherfucking thing. But, you know, when it comes to uh, other people's comedy, you know? I mean, y'all know how much we hate women. I think the reason we hate women so much is because of how generic they are. I just really don't like fake people and boring people and, you know, people that don't read or, like, grow. It's, it's like women just don't believe in growth or something. You know, like... I feel like a lot of them... And, and they've been treated that way for so long. Like, they're allowed to get away with it. So, like, why wouldn't they keep getting away with it? Look. You'll see it yet? You will. Don't worry, it's coming. Are you sure it's coming? Because I, I feel like this is what happened last time. <laughs> because, like, this is not the part of the road that you keep thinking it is. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll have to wait. Yeah, so I think I tried to tell you guys this before, but I, I take a lot of breaks from stuff. You know, I guess I fast. Since I fast um, for my religion, from certain types of food, certain days during the year, um, I figured, well, it's, it's smart to do that anyway from all kinds of things. Because there are so many bad things out there, and it's good to discipline ourselves, and it's good to not just do all the stuff that we want to do, whatever we want to do, and limits, yes, limits show you how much you can stretch yourself, you know, like the more that you limit yourself, the more you realize what you're truly capable of, because you'll learn how to do a lot with the little, you know, yeah, definitely, that makes a lot of sense, stretch it, motherfucker, stretch it. Well, I guess we're gonna, uh, we'll be back. <laughs>